Hello people, Computer Science GCSE Year 10s. I just want to go through the answers you guys have done. Uh, we've had a really good response of students attempting the questions, so well done to everybody who did the questions. You were given three questions and they were worth different different marks. So the first question was two marks, second was four, and the third was six marks. On the first question, most of you guys, you did really well. You answered the question by what the... You, you answered the question correctly, basically. So I was pleased with that response. The second one, you guys answered the question, but I would like you to include some key terms, which I've highlighted. So for example... The question is, describe the two following threats, brute force attack <clears throat> and denial of service attack. For brute force attack, you guys stated what it was, but most of you were missing trial and error. So your responses were something like, people will try and guess the password and eventually get it correct. That is fine, but it's better if you say you use trial and error. So, for example, if there is a password where there's only four digits and they have to be numbers, so zero to nine, what people do using the trial and error method is guess a password by typing one, 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 one. And then one 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 two, one 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 three, one 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 four, and all, and they keep, they create a program to, to guess all the passwords, and that's the trial and error method. <clears throat> Denial of service attack is something when people go onto a server or a website and they basically crash it. Now, the way this works is when lots of people are trying to access something at the same time. So that principle could be for your Wi-Fi at home, that principle could be when there's a sale on, like Black Friday, or Cyber Monday, or um, I don't know, summer holiday, summer sale, all, all sorts of sales. What happens, lots of people try to go on to a website at the same time and sometimes websites do crash. I have personally had this issue on more than one occasion. So, the second question, you guys were fine, but <coughs> if you can remember these, three key, these two keywords, then you'll be okay. And then the third one, um, we didn't do great on it. Mm, you guys explained the user policies. Sorry, you guys explained the three different network policies. For example, acceptable use policy, backup policy, disaster recovery policy. So you explained that. Well, you identified it, but it's in the explanation where you guys didn't do great. So rather than reading all of this description out to you, I'll leave it just here so that you can read it for yourselves and then you'll have a better understanding. Um, and that's, that's all I wanted to say today. Uh, well done to everybody who has attempted the questions. Thank you very much.